Uh, this is a another quick um, fix, I'm hoping, uh, for a Sub-Zero uh, 642. Uh, the problem I had was is that my freezer had gone crazy and had gone to minus 23 degrees. I was just showing you this here. Even though it is set, you can see here, for zero, it had actually gone down to minus 23 degrees, which I guess is the maximum that this thing can go. So what I found was is that the, um, the compressor had stuck on for the freezer side. Um, and um, I wanted to show you this because there's a diagnostic that you can get into on this. And what you do is you hold um, the colder button and then also hit the unit on off, which is all the way down here at the end at the same time. And then what will happen is, is that this will go into a service mode here and will tell you what the actual uh, temperatures are for or, or, and different readings for the different compartments. Now the first one that comes up is showing me that it, that's the temperature in the freezer compartment. This is showing the degrees in the freezer. Hit the colder button again, it will show you the R stands for refrigerator and that's telling me what the temperature, uh, the thermistor, what it's reading in there. Hit it again, it will show you the freezer evaporator temperature Hit it again, it will show you the refrigerator evaporator. And then the final one goes back to the refrigerator or freezer again. Now, in this uh, diagnostic mode, if at any point when you're going through these, if an EE comes up here, that's an error, meaning that the thermistor has failed or has become disconnected on any of these uh, readings. And since none of them are none of them are, are coming up, they're all reading actual temperatures, which means that the thermistor has not failed. So that's just telling me that it was just running, maybe a stuck relay. Not sure. What I found interesting was is that even when I went down here and I turned the unit power off, the compressor for the freezer was still running. So it had stuck open. So what I finally ended up just doing was going downstairs and actually turning the breaker off on it. And that stopped it. As simple as that is, just going and shutting off the main power to it for about five minutes, letting it reset, seems to have fixed the problem. So, uh, if it doesn't, I will update this video. But I think that fixed it because the temperature is already dropping.